Hello everyone, it is Kamikaze 304 here with our first ever Battlefield 1942 commentary. Today we will be playing some Conquest on the map Anzio. I'm going to say right now the commentary isn't that interesting, but that's really not what I want to talk about for this video. You can just watch the gameplay if you want, mute my mic, but before you mute me you have to like, like the video, favorite it, subscribe, and then and only then. Can you mute me? That's because me, Billy O'Reilly, and John Lennon are good buddies. And John Lennon owns YouTube, like I've said in my first commentary. Anywho, today I want to talk about how the world is going to end. The world is going to end in a spectacular, spectacular way. It is almost unreal how crazily the world is going to end. See, what will happen is um we're going to... In Mexico, where the Mayans said uh, the world's going to, you know, they predicted it, it's going to sink into hell. It's just going to, you know, it's like, like what will happen is uh, some guy will get, like, the blocks of obsidian in Minecraft and set it up and take some flint and steel to it. And so, like, hell will open up. And, like, it'll suck people into it and kill them. And it'll just be really, really bad. So what happened is the U.S. government, because they have to be involved in all the world's foreign affairs, will send two special agents. Their name will be uh, um, Apple Cider and Jim Bob. Apple Cider, he is going to be a, um, he's just going to be a tub of apple cider. And since since the U.S. government can't have anybody else knowing what that they're from America, he will dispatch them with an AK-47. Apple Cider Rifle, AK-47, and Jim Bob, he's going to be a letter J, just a letter J of hands and legs, and eyes on the, uh, on the, like, ends of the J's, you know, his capital has, like, the little top on, like, eyes, yeah, on the side, kind of like a hammerhead suck, you know, those ones, anyway, um, no, uh, so this is going to be the hammerhead shark. No, and they're going to be dispatched. And uh, he's going to have a Kimbo MP5. <laughs> Steady aim. <laughs> no, I don't play Call of Duty. I don't play. I don't like the game series. I'm sorry. I just lost probably all the subscribers I may get one day with that statement. Right there. But I'm not a big fan of Call of Duty. You know, I like the older ones. Call of Duty 2. That's good. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So they're going to be dispatched down there. And see, like, it's since how opened up and it sucked everything, there's going to be no intel. There's going to be clouds everywhere so our UAVs can't get a good good sight on it. What will happen is they'll be looking at it. They'll be looking at them. And, like, they'll be walking down. They'll be coming through a Mexican subway system in, in Mexico, in uh, New Mexico City. New Mexico. So they'll be like, oh, God, what's going on? And then, like, the rats will start flooding to one end of the tunnel. And they'll be like, oh, oh shit, what's going on? And they're going to be like, oh, fuck. And then all of a sudden, like, aliens will charge at them. Long swords. Just, they're going to, like, open up and they're going to kill them all. See, then they're going to get to the Hellgate. Like, it's exactly like the Minecraft one. Exactly like it. And so, at the Hellgate, um, they're going to, all of a sudden, all the armies of Mordor are going to flood out at them. But, but see, Apple Cider and Jim Bob, they're going to have a slight advantage to them. What will happen is the clone armies will come at the Urukai and they'll be fighting, but the Urukai will be too strong and the clone armies will have a hard time holding. So what will happen is the elves, they're going to bring in a Balrog, the big flame monster from the Mines of Moria in the, in the Lord of the Rings videos. And, they're gonna be like, and it's going to drop it's going to pick up an M16A2 silenced with a red dot on it and extended mags. And um, it's going to be firing right Ooh, It's going to be crazy. And so the battle's going to be over. But like the Balrog is going to be here, but the Urukai are still winning. So what's going to happen is Leonidas' armies are going to come out. Leonidas and his 300 Spartans are going to come out. And they're going to be like, the dining in hell is terrible. And they're just going to like charge them. And they're going to be fighting the Urukai. And they're going to win. They're going to hoist up an American flag right there on the hill. They're going to say, for America. And, like, America will be sanctioned off to the U.S. right now. But but it's going to be like Puerto Rico. It's not going to be a state. We're just going to collect taxes. They can vote, but they're their own country. Anyways, it's for the taxes. We get the taxes. You know. What would our country be if we didn't have taxes? You know, what would we have gotten done? You know, we could not have funded... The Revolutionary War without those British, you know, 
giving us taxes. You know, every time there's a tax cut, I get angry with the United States government. I say, what the heck, man? You know, all I want to do is, you know, see America succeed, and they keep cutting taxes. You know, what's tax cuts going to do? Nothing. I'm going to tell you why it's going to do nothing. See, our history teacher Miss, was absent one day, and this crazy substitute came in with awesome, this, just the best mustache ever. It's just crazy awesome. It's like, oh, he's got like the awesome, he's got like awesome curly hair. He's just, but he's super crazy. So, you know, in biology you learn like the bell, there's the bell curve of, uh, of what happens, like the bell curve of um, the phenotypes, and uh, I forget exactly what it's called, but like um, there's disruptive selection, stabilizing, and stabilizing selection puts pressure on the side and makes the graph higher. So what he was trying to explain to us is how every time we cut taxes, what happens is it stabilizes, just like biology class. <laughs> and I'm like, everything really does connect to each other. You know, I'm learning biology so I can fully understand history. Oh, and this guy's a civil war nut too. Like he he fell off his he 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 went crazy. He's probably he's too he's a few nuts short of a you know, I forget all those funny things like <laughs> You guys are all retarded. Shut up, I'm funny. My grandma tells me I am. <laughs> um Yeah, so what else is that? I need to talk about something. I need to talk about something. Oh yeah, me and my friends stopped fighting. Um, I might get a dual commentary up soon with one of my friends. He can see he likes my videos. That's the only people who watch my videos. My friends and my grandma. And my grandma doesn't even like me. She just pities me. I was on a I was on a pity date a while ago. You know, I had to I had to pay for everything. She she made me sit four rows over in the movie theater. Wasn't too fun. Anyways, um, no, so, this is what, this is what I want to talk about. I want to talk about some of my previous statements. Um, I told you that to get a girl, you first have to, uh, you give her the note, you, you, you compliment her, you tell her she's damn pretty, and then you give her the note, and, you know, that'll get you only so far. That might get you a hand job in the movie theater, or, or maybe, um, no, that's probably the most you're gonna get off of that. But you need you need to work on this next step, which I've perfected, is really good. Now, there's a substance called chloroform. It's it's a good one. It's a really good substance in my opinion. Um, you really want to use it. What you do is you put the chloroform in a rag, and you you go up to to the girl. And you, you're standing behind her. She doesn't know you're there. She's got to be like a lone texter or something. And you put the rag over your mouth. And she breathes in like two or three. But, and passes out. Passes out. Now this. This is where you get to have fun. See. I, I was looking up the laws yesterday. You know. I don't. If you get in trouble for doing this. Because I suggested it. It's not my fault. I do not suggest trying this. This is a very bad idea. But what will happen. Is uh, she'll be laying there. And you'll be like. And you just can be like, there's a beautiful lady in front of me. What do I do? And you know what to do. You really do know what to do. And that is you take her home and pretend she was attacked. So that way she thinks you saved her life. You know? She she just be like, oh my gosh, you saved me. And then, and then that's where the good stuff happens. You know what the good stuff is? Consensual sex. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching this commentary. It's probably not a too good one, but I really want to thank you. So, if you guys would mind, not mind, give me some love, like the favorite button, subscribe to me, and just all around be my friend. Once again, thanks for subscribe. Thanks for being my friend, guys.